Hello and good evening mga ka-Arky. So, kamusta? Kamusta kayong lahat? And we hope that you're all doing well. So, kamusta Marion? Good evening mga ka-Arky. Kamusta Sir Fitz? Mabuti naman tayo. At uh, one week after the storm, eh, uh, okay naman. Awa ng Diyos. At sana sa lahat ng mga nakikinig ay okay kayo. Oo nga, no? dapat last week natin to ginawa itong live stream na to, but of course, we have other priorities and of course, nakidamay din tayo dun sa mga uh, nagkakaroon ng uh, problema during that time uh, because of the typhoon. So, we hope that uh, everyone is now safe and dry and healthy. And uh, of course, meron tayong mga special guest sa ating live stream today. Ayan, kitang-kita na kagad sa sa banner natin oh. we have our guest from M Trading at saka ano no si Renzi will be joining us in a while medyo na traffic lang daw <laughs> back to normal traffic oo nga eh oo oh. kamusta ang converge Mario alam ko naka-converge ka eh Ay, no. <laughs> buti na lang hindi nangyari ngayong araw yan. <laughs> Kundi ako lang mag-isa yung nagsasaita ngayon dito, no. Yan. So, oh, shout out kay din. Shout out kay Adriel na alam kong nanonood din ngayon. Kanina dumaan siya sa ano natin, na <laughs> backstage natin pero talagang serious na serious siya sa pag-aaral niya eh, no. So, oh, oh. good luck so, sa finals well... niya. <laughs> All the best, Adriel. At tandaan mo, maraming naghihintay ng mga ka natin sa iyong cute smile. Oo nga. So, siguro bago natin bago natin na uh, batiin ang mga nandito sa ating live stream, uh, i-introduce muna natin yung ating mga guests for this evening. No? So, of course, si Imran at saka si Nadine, they are both from M Trading and uh, we'll let them introduce themselves. So let's all welcome our guest, yeah, si Imran at saka si Nadine. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hello, mga ka Hi. Hello, Arkies. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Ayan, uh, mga taga M Trading. Ano kayo? M na yan. <laughs> Malalaman oh, niyo mamaya. Sabihin <laughs> ng M. Ah, malalaman natin mamaya. So, oh, malalaman exactly. natin mamaya. So before anything else uh, I would like to ask no uh, ano ba yung uh, ginagawa ninyo sa sa M trading and uh, uh, please uh, introduce yourself siguro we'll start with Imran Okay so hi guys I'm Imran so I'm an account manager here in M trading so yung pagpa-process ng mga accounts nyo, verification withdrawal deposits ako nagha-handle niyan and also yung support sa mga okay. traders natin so sa akin nilalapit yan and uh, nire-resolve natin yan I am the Nadine Yes. Hello, mga ka-Arki. Thank you, Sir Fitz, for that introduction as well. Um, my name is Nadine. I'm currently the country manager for M Trading. So, ano ba yung magiging role ko for M Trading? I'm basically bridging yung needs ng mga Filipinos sa headquarters. Because every market sa buong mundo, iba-iba ang needs, iba-iba ang hanap, especially in terms of investments. So, since we are a Filipino, tayo mismo ay investors din. Ako yung nagsasend ng feedback lagi sa headquarters to make it more local, accessible, and of course, um, must, uh, how can I say this, must ma-enjoy ng mga Filipino yung products natin ngayon. Alright, so oh. si Nadine is the country manager. Naku, bigatin pala tong kasawa na dito. <laughs> oh, country no, manager. Pasan niya ang Pilipinas. <laughs> At si Imran ang uh, isa sa mga account managers tama mm. or are you the head account manager no no, I no. isa lang yung boss eh uh, <laughs> so of course let us also welcome ang ating uh, isa pang ka-arki si Renzi finally nakarating na <laughs> so, good, good evening good evening Sorry good for evening being late. Renzi. good evening thanks Imran thanks Miss Nadine for having with us Pumigam ako ng investment from a client. Uh, <laughs> Kasi, ayun, but thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. And of course, and trading. So sa mga ka-arkin natin, alam ko na marami nagtatanong about Forex. So ilabas na ang mga bala at ang... <laughs> ano? Oh, oh, forex. Ang mga dapat itanong. Mm, yes. Correct, correct. Actually, isa yes, <laughs> sa mga laging uh, tinatanong sa amin, no, yung Forex right. trading. And kasi sa amin, 
ako lang yung medyo active mag-trade ng Forex. So, mm. natutuwa ako kasi kasama ko na kayo ngayon. So, hindi lang ako yung sasagot. Sa <laughs> so, mga tanong nila ako sa Forex trading. And, yeah. of course, yeah, batiin natin yung mga nandito ngayon. We are actually live streaming, of course, from our YouTube channel and from our Facebook page and also on Kumu. So, right now, we have around 60,000 viewers there. Wow. <laughs> so, um, usually, dadami pa yan in, in, a, in a while, no? And uh, siguro, batiin muna natin yung mga nandito na sa ating live stream. So, we encourage everyone to please... Um, uh, share your thoughts and if you have questions, just type it sa ating comment section or chat mm. section. Ayan. So, may early bird tayo. No? Sino ba yung mga early bird natin, uh, Marion? Ayan, batiin, na, batiin natin yung mga maaga, no? 5.35, si Man- Maruel Kyle. Ayan. Mm. Oo, hello po mga sir. Ayan, sino pa yung mga maaga? Si Paolo Estrabo, si Raymar Kaingat, client natin to, no? si Raymar. Um, Jella Diaries, yan, good vibes daw. J. Martin, saktong alasa is. Hello everyone. EJ Kuna. Sa atin to si J. Martin. Oo, <laughs> ayan. ayan. Watching from South Korea, Jose Lu Kuwasay. And wow. Israel SM604. Ayan. Israel so, nandito. Oo, so yun yung mga nauna, no? John Isidro, yan, so okay din natin yan, 6.08pm, ayan, uh, good evening mga ka-Arky Buti na lang na dito si Israel, si Israel, ano to eh, um, ano, masipag to magbigay uh, ng ayuda sa atin Oo, speaking of ayuda, speaking of ayuda, kung sino yung gustong mauna Sa mga tanong, uh, all you have to do is send a super sticker sa atin at kayo uh, ang mauuna sa mga tanong. Uh, of course, yeah. uh, yung super sticker at saka super chat is available sa YouTube uh, channel natin. And uh, kung nasa kumu kayo nanonood, then we have our virtual gifts there. So, yun yung aming ano, yun yung aming uh, uh, pag- pasasalamat sa inyo kapag nagbagsak kayo niyan. Uunahin namin yung inyong mga tanong. <laughs> oh, at may hierarchy of currency tayo, ha? Wag ka na. <laughs> it's forex din lang, di ba? So may hierarchy of currency. Oh, oh, nauna yung Swiss francs, yan. Nauna yung GPT. Euro ang una. Pero oh. syempre, ito. Nako, maraming salamat nakinig sa akin. Oh. Sa akin. May 50 pesos tayo na super sticker. Nako, maraming salamat, Israel, <laughs> sa 50 pesos na bagsak mo. Ayan. So kung may tanong ka, Israel, tanong mo lang. Uunahin natin yan. Yung, uh, At saka ano, no? Yes. Yeah. So again, no, sa mga kaariki natin, Please take this chance, no? Lahat ng mga tanong nyo sa Forex, itanong na po natin because, of course, we have Mr. Dean here and we have Imran here, our M Trading FX. Ano ba tawag sa FX? F experts. <laughs> FX experts. Nice. <laughs> F experts. Okay, so ilabas na po natin. All out tayo on Forex for this particular live Yes, oh, uh, and uh, of course, uh, we would like to invite everyone to uh, please check out yung M Trading, who is uh, our uh, guest for this live stream. You can go to the link na nakikita nyo sa taas, yung bit.ly slash open a forex account. Or syempre, tayo medyo nasasanay na tayo sa mga QR code ngayon eh, dahil sa mga contact tracing ngayon. But uh, uh-huh. pwede nyo rin siyang gamitin. You can scan our QR code dyan sa corner ng ating uh, video and sign up for a free account. Wala namang bayad mag, mag-create ng account, di ba? Wala. Libre. Wala. And you're not, you're not required to deposit money uh, pag nag-open ka, di ba? You can open for free. Yes. yes. No commitments as of the moment. Mm. Yeah. Yes, tama. So, I guess, uh, pwede siguro na natin simulan itong ating live stream. And uh, we will start by uh, getting to know M Trading better. So, uh, I guess si Imran yung mag-share uh, mm-hmm. sa atin, mag-talk about the company. And uh, before that, uh, I want to show you a video. Ah, hindi pala. Before that, I-recognize muna natin si Joan Isidro na nagbagsak ng 300 yen. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Maraming salamat, Joan, sa 300 yen. Ayan. So, nakikita ko na rin na yung mga nagtatanong tungkol sa mm. M-Trading and Forex Trading. So, yeah. uh, siguro si... Keep it coming. Tama, tama. Keep it coming. Oh, babalikan mm. naman natin lahat yan. And yes. uh, for now, 
let's uh, watch this video so that we'll get to know uh, M Trading better. And then later on, we will have Imran to share with us more details about the company. Okay, so let's watch this. Right, so uh, we will uh, uh, let Imran uh, do his uh, presentation. Can you share right. your so share it on the screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait so habang Imran is sharing the screen, so again, mga Arki, if you have questions on forex, on about M trading and how to start, etc., etc., now is the time to ask this question. <laughs> All right. So Imran, iiwanan ka muna namin ha. So All right. Guys, makinig tayo kay Bye. Imran so that uh, we will uh, get to know uh, the company better, right? Sige. So we'll remove All right. So good evening guys and welcome to our live stream. And I hope you're all doing okay right now and sana makatulong tong live stream session natin para sa sa mga tao ngayon na medyo nahihirapan. So, let's get on with it. So, who is M Trading and what can M Trading do for you? Well, sa madaling salita, si M Trading ay isang online trading platform na kung saan pwede kang bumili at magbenta ng mga contracts for difference on several financial assets like currencies, commodities, indices, and a number of stocks as well. So, kailan ba nagsimula si M Trading? So, nagsimula siya around 2013, no? And right after that, one year later, nagkamera na siya ng mga sunod-sunod na award. So, right here we can see that M Trading has been awarded the best forex newcomer 2014, 2015 best trading platform, and so on. All right. So, around the around the globe, Meron kaming 10 offices no, and more than 250,000 satisfied traders. So, and also, meron kaming 5,000 profiting partners. I will explain more about these partners later on. Iba siya dun sa mga manual traders. So, gaya nga sabi ko, around the world, we have exposure in Africa, Asia Pacific, kung nasa ng Philippines. Latin America and the Commonwealth Independent States. So, yan yung Russia, uh, Armenia, yan, Ukraine, just to name a few. So, ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng M sa M trading? So, one is mobility. Right now, we have our trading platform is MetaTrader 4. Sa mga viewers natin dito na nagte-trade na, I'm sure very much familiar kayo sa MetaTrader 4. So long as you have your phone with you, pwede ka mag-monitor ng positions mo, pwede ka mag-open ng positions, and pwede ka rin mag-scan ng charts. So basta lang meron kang internet connection. Another one is our M Trading mobile phone app. 
So, dito sa app na to, pwede mong gawin yung mga pagde-deposit, pag-withdraw, pag-verify ng account, yan, pag-upload ng mga documents mo. No, di mo na kailangan na mag-login pa sa web browser. So, next M, the next M is mutually beneficial. So, here in M Trading, we want you, our traders, to profit in the long run. Bakit? Because the only way for M Trading to prosper is for our clients to prosper as well. Because the more profitable they are, the more trades they make, the more M Trading can profit as well. All right. So, paano ba namin ginagawa yun? Paano ba namin tinutulungan yung aming mga traders? One tool is what we call leverage. No? So, dati, noong unang panahon, ang, le- ang forex trading ay exclusive lang sa mga banks, sa hedge funds, sa mga big boys, basically. Because walang leverage naman dati. For example, kung makikita nyo sa screen natin ngayon, kung gusto mo mag-trade ng one lot sa Euro USD, kakailanganin mo ng $100,000 para lang mag-open ng position. But right now, as a retail trader, pwede ka ngayon mag-participate sa global markets with the use of leverage, no? With the least amount of capital. For example, dito, ita natin, $112 lang. Makapag-trade ka na ng one lot, no? Another one is we have 100 plus instruments sa aming platform. Normally, may mga traders na nag-specialize sa isang type ng asset lang. No? Mayroon mga traders na nag-specialize sa indices. pero mga traders na nag-specialize sa uh, currencies. So lahat ng yun may kita mo sa isang platform lang. So very convenient. Next one is what we call the negative balance protection. Ano nga ba ito? So ang ibig sabihin lang nito ay... If ever, no, unfortunately, nagkameron ka ng losing portfolio sa iyong account, yung mga losses na yun hindi yung magsispill over outside of your account. Ang ibig sabihin lang nun is pag nag-top up ka, pag nag-top up ka ulit, hindi na maapektuhan yung deposit mo. Kung bagay, you can start fresh. And next one is what we call regulation. Ito yata yung isa sa pinakang importante. So, si M Trading ay member ng the Financial Commission. Si Financial Commission ay isang entity no, na nag-handle ng mga disputes and resolutions dito sa Asia Pacific. no. So, for example, meron kang dispute kay M Trading. Pwede ka naming tulungan na mag-file kay the Financial Commission. And pwedeng-pwede ka rin makakuha ng coverage kasi kung makikita nyo dito sa screen, 20,000 euros ang coverage per complaint per account holder. So that's very beneficial para sa mga traders natin. No? Next one is education. Once na nag-sign up ka kay M Trading, automatically pwede ka nang sumali sa aming weekly weekly webinars no wherein we discuss yung mga current market sentiments current current events no ano yung mga effects nito sa market especially pag may NFP kung familiar yung mga traders natin diyan yan all for free basta may account ka lang so next one ito very important to the spread so ano nga ba yung spread so syempre yung mga traders natin diyan alam na alam kung ano ito Basically, the spread is the cost that the trader incurs for every trade that he has. Ito yung una mong binabayaran bilang isang trader. Kung mapapansin niyo pag, nag, pag nag-open kayo ng isang position, negative na kagad siya. Bakit? Gawa nung spread. So, the, the smaller the spread, the smaller your expense. So, mas madaling, mas madaling makakuha ng gain, kumbaga. Alright, moving on. Ayan, ito na. Ito na yung tinatawag nating partners, partners program, no? So aside from manual trading or discretionary trading, pwede ka ring mag-earn as a PAM manager, PAM investor, copy trade master or copy trade investor. So ano ba tong PAM, no? So PAM stands for 
percentage allocation management module. So, ibig sabihin lang yan, kung ikaw ay isang PAM money manager, ay ikaw ang nag-handle ng isang pool of funds, no? para kang fund manager niyan. Ikaw yung nagmamanage niyan, and ikaw yung nagtitrade ng account na yan. So, bakit ba dapat tayo mag... Ano bang sense nito? Number one is protection. Protection sa investor. Ang nangyayari, pag nasa PAM program ka naka-invest, protected ang inyong capital. Kasi hindi naman lumilipat yung capital nyo sa account ng trader. Nasa account nyo pa rin yan. No? Kami, yung system na ni M Trading, yung, yung automatically nag... Uh, nag the decide no or nag process kung paano yung gagawin ni Pam money manager so para naman kay manager protection din sa kanya para if ever meron siyang mga commissions hindi niya na kailangan pa maghagel sa mga investors niya automatic niya na ring ma-receive yon all right so dito naman moving on itong copy trade natin so pag meron meron kaming list ng mga professional traders na available for copy trading. Ang ibig sabihin lang nito, pwede kang mangopia ng trades. Pwede mong kopyahin yung portfolio nila. Every time na mag-open sila ng position, magsiset ng pending orders, automatically yung account mo maglalagay na rin nun. no? So for every winning trade, meron lang commission si copy master. And the good thing about this is wala siyang commitment. Anytime, pwede ka mag-unsubscribe. Pag hindi mo na nagustuhan yung performance ng copy master mo, PAM money manager mo, okay lang. Pwede ka mag-unsubscribe and you can look for other uh, other funds to invest in. No? Alright. So, next is an easy way to fund and withdraw. Here in M Trading, nakipag-partner kami sa mga global financial institutions para mas mapadali pa ang pag-withdraw at pag-deposit. Dito sa Philippines, nakipag-partner kami kay DragonPay. So kung meron kayong BDO, BPI, Metrobank, Union Bank, SecBank, yan, mas mapapadali. Instantly, magre-reflect ang deposits natin. And yung withdrawals natin, it can take up to less than a day para ma-receive mo siya or ma-reflect siya sa account mo. So long as verified ka. All right. Next is CM si Trading. Nagu host din siya ng mga gala or events, no? Wherein we invite our traders, we invite our team. So kung makikita niyo dito sa pictures, ito yung mga events na nangyari sa Thailand, sa Vietnam, Indonesia, and Malaysia, Africa as well. All right. So the next M is movement in the industry. So what? So like what I've said before. Dito sa M Trading, we try our best to develop the leading or the most competitive trading conditions. So kita kita nyo kanina with the spread, no? That's just one thing, and marami pang iba. All right. So next one is yung MT4 Supreme Edition namin. So ano nga ba ito? Sa MT4 kasi, pwede kang gumawa ng sarili mong mga indicators. Kung hindi nakalagay yon sa free, sa free na MT4 account, pwede kang gumawa na sarili mo. So dito sa M Trading, no, meron kaming team na kusa ng gumawa nun para sa mga account holders namin. Free lang yon Kailangan nyo lang i-download yung MT4 Supreme Edition. No? It's all for free. And then, pwede mo nyo na siyang gamitin. Ang example sa mga indicators na to ay Pivots, Pivots Indicator. Renko, Gravity Indicator, Spread Indicator, at marami pang iba. Alright. So, the next M is we try to make a difference. In M Trading, we are motivated to make a difference in the lives of our traders. As much as possible, we want our clients to reach their financial goals by developing a platform that works for them. So, always remember, if you want to participate in the global markets, Nandito lang kami para tulungan kayo. Alright? So, if meron pa kayong mga questions right 
after ng live stream na to, pwede nyo kami makontakt, pwede nyo kami ma-email, and we'll be sure to answer all of your concerns. All right. Sir Fitz, I think you're Ay, muted. Ka, Sir Fitz. <coughs> <laughs> Ayo, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Imran, for that very yeah. ano uh, overview of uh, M trading. So, yeah, so sa mga kaariki natin, no, so you've already known M trading where they're from, their presence in other countries. Of course, maganda yung ano no, parang nakasyo attention ko dun sa ano to, yung capital para capital protect, di ba? It kind of protects your your capital as well. So kung baga at least hindi kayo masusunog sa sa forex, you have that. Uh, sabi na natin risk management feature and of course hindi lang copy trading ang meron sa M trading but you can also be parang kung gusto yung maging papampam but <laughs> 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 sobrang galing uh, nila di ba? Uh, if you yeah so you know if you have your own forex group if you think that your you know your forex uh, strategies and tactics would work and you would want your you know your friends or some of your colleagues or even if you have your own investment community or forex trading community as well so yeah you can be your own ano, uh fund manager <laughs> your mm-hmm. uh, forex fund manager so it's, it's a very very interesting concept of mm-hmm. mtd so yeah so if you have questions we're already open to ano to answer I, your questions and queries pero i think uh go- uh, mag did, mag uh, walk through then muna si hmm. Mr. Dean yung uh, ah, yes. platform no uh, so uh, sulat lang natin sa papel <laughs> <laughs> okay okay hopefully through this walk through ng platform natin we'll also be able to answer yung mga nakikita kong questions dito sa comments so after yes. that walk through then if meron pa kayo additional questions then we will answer that after this okay so Thank sir you. I'll just share my screen now Yes. Yes. So keep it keep it coming yung mga questions natin, yung mga how to ganyan. So mga major bank partners natin, alam na naman natin no, SECB, the major banks, Dragon mm-hmm. Pay. Yeah. So yan. Okay, okay, great. So, Everyone is muna namin, Ms. Din. Okay, Ms. speak Ms. soon. Bye. <laughs> okay, so Again, thank you so much, Imran, for giving us a company profile of M Trading. So, ngayon po, mga kaarki, nakikita niyo po sa aking screen ay ang M Trading website. Okay? So, I do, uh, may mga nabasa na akong questions kanina. Iisa-isahin din po natin siya through this walkthrough already. So, the first question na nag-caught na attention sa akin kanina is, where can we learn basics of Forex? Let's say, first time yung narinig or maybe first time yung mag-venture. Sa M Trading website, we already have the education tab. So once na click po kayo ng tab, makikita nyo yung mga available platforms to learn. So meron po tayong ongoing webinars daily and monthly. If I click this right now, makikita po natin meron tayong four webinars. Okay, but some are... Um, in local languages ng ibang countries like in India and in Africa. Kakatapos na po kasi ng free webinar natin dito sa Philippines last week. Um, before po nung ng typhoon, we also had two webinars specifically analyzing yung U.S. election. That was the hottest topic uh, for over two weeks last time. So stay tuned. Okay, just open your M Trading account. Punta lang po kayo dito sa webinars. We'll be uploading and we'll be putting in the schedule here of uh, M Trading Philippines webinars for December already. Um, what I can guarantee is every Friday on December, meron po tayong specific webinars catering to your needs. And na po yung mga Forex for Dummies natin. We also have the um, intermediate webinar. Ito na po yung walkthrough sa MT4 platform. And then meron na rin po tayong advanced where we tackle strategies, risk management, and we'll be guesting a couple of other speakers na rin, sharing their um, experience basically sa forex trading industry. So these are the webinars. We used to conduct a lot of financial seminars, but again, due to the pandemic po, medyo na halt po muna. Better follow the rules and, you know, safety for everyone po talaga muna, yung number one concern natin. Next, we do have articles and tutorials. So kung mahilig kayong magbasa, you want to know about Forex, and dito na rin po siya available. For free po to. 
Okay, just go to our website education tab and pwede na kayo mag-start ng mga reading materials. So I'm getting this to be translated in Filipino as well. But I think most of mga viewers naman natin uh, prefers to read in English kasi alam natin minsan yung ibang terms doesn't really have an exact translation sa Filipino. Okay. So yes, um, a lot of uh, helpful articles here for you. And hopefully ma-enjoy niyo po siya. You can always read this on your spare time. Next, so what other products do we offer dito sa M-Trading? We actually have bonuses or trading bonuses up to 200% on your deposit bonus. Does it help? Does it not help? Um, very debatable po talaga siya. Depende po mismo sa strategy nyo as a trader. Well, I do know a lot of people na, na gagamit talaga nila yung bonus to their advantage. So yung bonus po natin sa M Trading, it's actually a withdrawable bonus. Okay, when I say withdrawable bonus, ibig sabihin po, uh, for every lot you trade, there can be a rebate or a cashback. So all the terms and conditions, uh, downloadable po siya and readable po siya later on when you go to our website. Okay. And ang maganda rin po sa kanya, hindi, um, yung pinakasinusupport po niya is margin. Okay. So for the bonus, uh, we start at 30%. And then we do have 50%, 100%, 150%, and yung pinakamalaki po natin is the 200%. Okay. So I think this was discussed already. Saan po available sa M Trading across the globe? We do have our own awards, of course. So we've been in the industry for almost a decade already. And then, uh, kanina rin po na-mention ni Imran yung ating MT4 Supreme Edition. Meron din po tayong MT4 Multi-Terminal. So, this is for people na with experience na that they want to trade multiple accounts. Available po siya for download and for free. Okay. And to for the safety measures and security of your accounts, we do have the Financial Commission. Okay. Uh, we are registered under SVG. But again, as a Filipino po kasi, parangkaan na lang po tayo, wala po talaga tayong uh, regulatory body dito sa Philippines. Actually, in the whole Asia, two countries pala ang merong regulatory body, and that's Singapore and Indonesia. Okay? Right now, uh, other countries, we are basically dependent sa mga foreign brokers uh, in providing their services to the locals. Okay? So, one thing that you need to always bear in mind is that kapag tinitignan po natin yung regulatory body or license sa isang broker, sakop ba tayo ng jurisdiction nila? Okay? Because there's a lot of regulatory bodies out there na very secure talaga, but at the end of the day, as a Filipino living in the Philippines, you have to think twice. Part ba ako ng jurisdiction or not? So good thing we have the Financial Commission. So all I need to do is to click it Okay, let me just change the screen. Okay, can everyone see the certification? Okay, so pag kinlik niyo po siya, it will also redirect you sa financial commission link. So, which is very important. Again, ito po lagi yung tinuturo ko sa mga beginners in Forex or those who are constantly asking. When we perform due diligence of the broker, it's always recommended to go to their website and go through directly po doon sa regulatory provider nila or license provider. I don't really tolerate mga third media companies or review websites because I think everyone knows in this industry, some of those are... Um, ex nang exploit lang. Uh, maybe it's a very uh, harsh term, no? But most of the time, kasi ako mismo nakakareceive ako ng mga messages from these third-party media uh, websites that are asking for fees para gumanda yung review sa website nila. Again, I don't tolerate those. So pag tinatanong kami usually ng mga clients or ng mga... Um, interested partners namin, I always redirect them to the Financial Commission para unbiased. Again, this is uh, the provider na mismo. Kung ano bang makita nyo dyan, very unbiased po siya. And alam nyo na they did their own diligence to our company before they gave us this insurance and license. Okay. So again, what is the Financial Commission? Ano advantage nyo as a Filipino? Very easy po 
to uh, file for a complaint if you have any disputes. I'm saying this not just from M Trading, but as Kapwa Pilipino po natin. So I've been in this industry for almost a decade na rin. We've been through a lot. I've uh, been working with a lot of brokers before. And gusto ko po talagang sabihin sa mga Kapwa Pilipino na always check if anything happens to your account, saan po kayo magsusuplong. Okay, so good thing dito, very accessible po siya sa M-Trading. So all you need to do is to click file a complaint dito. Kahit sa broker pa po kayo, by the way. Okay, just click file a complaint, and dyan na po lahat. It, there's even a resolution process here. Okay, so if you check, hindi lang naman to make believe ni M-Trading. Marami pong member. It's a very big organization po that caters to a lot of brokers that is um, marketing here in Asia. So a lot of brands are here. And of course, M Trading is here. And kung mapapansin yung sa M Trading, meron siyang badge dito na best execution. So what is it for? Go to profile, ulit. And then, kung makikita nyo si M Trading po, ino audit po lahat ng trades or not really lahat, but a sample of it because we do have a lot of volumes coming in and out. So my kita ng ito sa verify my trade, they take a sample of at least five thousand orders execution. So, pati kami, sir, uh, mga ka-Arky, ino-audit po yung execution niya. So, alam naman po natin, it's very important. Lalo na po yung mga nag-work dito sa financial industry, you know how auditors are. They're like your police, in a way, sa uh, transactions natin and sa operations. And this is done monthly. Okay? So, last audit was done October 21st, 2020. Usually, yung auditing po nangyayari siya from the 19th to the 25th of the current month. And today is November 19. So right now, pwede nag-start na sila ng audit and they will probably release kung na-clear kami sa audit uh, within this week already. Okay? So I hope um, this is clear. And sana po yung the way we do due diligence, you also um, conduct your own due diligence sa kung anong brokers po kayo, kayo ngayon like to trade. So not just with M trading. Let me just change again my screen. All right. Are, are you done, ano, Miss Nadine? Uh, last na lang po. Papakita ko na lang okay. po yung copy trading. And that's it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, sige, sige. Oh, maganda yun. The most maganda exciting yun. part. <laughs> Siyempre, dapat nasa huli lagi. <laughs> sige. So I'm just going to log in my account. Bilisan lang po natin. Okay. So, kanina rin po nakita ko yung mga questions about um, copy trading. So, this is how easy it is. So, at po dashboard natin, accounts, transactions, partners, and special offers. So, once you go to your dashboard, you are allowed to open five live accounts under your name. So, makikita niyo po, we have two types of account. We have M Premium, which is our standard, and then our M Pro, or most commonly known po as the ECN or RAW account. Lowest spread po siya, and we only charge $4 per lot commission. This is round lot na po siya, which is the most competitive right now in the industry, hands down. Okay, so may nagtanong po sa akin kanina, what's the difference of M trading from the other brokers? Right now, we charge the lowest commission fee for ECN accounts, hands down. Promise. <laughs> So, dito din po yung mga downloadable um, freebies natin such as the MT4 Multi-Terminal and MT4 Supreme Edition. If you need anything, live chat is also here. Okay. Now, moving on to the copy trading, yung pinakahihintay ng lahat. So, if you want to start copy trading, available lang po siya sa ating standard account or M Premium. Meron po kayo makikita dito na copy master or change investment type. So, ikiklik nyo lang po siya. So, kayo ba ay isang experienced trader na and you're willing to publicize your trade outside, then choose Copy Master. Pero kung kayo ay bago pa lang, or let's say experienced na rin, but you prefer someone else's trades rather than your own, talagang sa trading po kasi, many are cold but few are chosen talaga, ika nga. So, you can be the Copy subscriber or investor ka lang. So, easy as that, Copy Investor na ako. So, Yung copy trading accounts nyo, magkakaroon ng additional button dito, which is the invest button. I-click nyo lang po siya, and marirederect na po kayo sa copy trading platform. So, let me just change the screen again. Okay. 
Okay, I hope everyone can see. Naglo-load lang po ang ating copy trading platform. Okay. So, there you go. Ito po ang itsura ng ating copy trading platform. So, as a copy subscriber, ang dilemma nyo na lang is choosing the correct copy master. Okay? So, to do that, click investment solutions dito. And still loading. Ayan, makikita po natin yung list ng mga copy masters. So, again, the good thing about this is very, may yung anonymity. Diba? Kung ikaw ay isang copy master, you don't want your investors breathing down your necks every time na nag-trade kayo. Yes, I get it. Um, they invested on you. But as a copy master, sometimes peace of mind is more important talaga so that you can perform well. So for the subscribers naman, again, dito, it doesn't matter kung kakilala mo siya o hindi. What matters is, gusto mo ba yung performance nila? Let's say this guy. Um, okay, let's find another. You can also choose uh, to opt for filters. Kunyari, gusto mo... Mm, okay, anonymous sila, but I still want to support yung mga kapwa ko Filipino. Then you can choose filter for Philippines. So lahat ng lalabas na copy master, yung mga copy master dito sa Philippines. And loading. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's my connect. Okay, there you go. So ito po yung mga copy masters natin. So on the get-go, makikita na po natin yung tatlong statistics nila, which is the day change, current month, and yung max drawdown. So, ano po ba to? Yung day change, ibig sabihin, for this day pa lang, ito na yung tinaas ng performance niya, which is 17.7%. Not bad. Correct? Not bad. Saan ka maghahanap ng ganyang uh, um, investment? For the current month, meron na siyang na-yield na 222% profit. But the max drawdown is more than 50%. When you say max drawdown, ito po yung binaba muna ng account niya before niya na-yield yung profit niya. Okay. So again, if you're interested about EA Robot Trader, pwede kang, yan, you can ask a question, but normally hindi sila sasagot. <laughs> Click the profile so that you can see more. Ano ba tina trade nito? Bakit ganun kabilis yung profit niya? Bakit siya nag-drawdown? Gano'ng katagal na siyang copy master, etc. So nakikita natin, this guy started um, last October 26, so not even a month. Okay, so since October, meron na siyang 74.3%. Total investment capital is at $31,000 and meron siyang 23 investors. We just don't know yung breakdown ng 31,000 dun sa 23 investors. Okay? And then, you can also see kung ano ba yung mga assets na tinitrade ni Copy Master here. So, that's a lot. And you know why it's a lot? Kasi nga po, EA po siya. So, this guy probably doesn't trade manually. Meron na lang siyang system na ini-install sa kanya MT4 and then automated trading na po. Uh, minimum investment. So, for now, you can already start investing sa kanya. Uh, although, pinag-uusapan nga namin kanya na the surfits, we normally recommend around 200 to $500 as a starting capital. So, at least, kahit papano, may binatbat naman si capital nyo sa market. Okay. Risk level, yun, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, yung drawdown niya, medyo mataas. So, again, this applies na high return, high risk, high return. Very risky. So, meron din tayong calculate your profit. Let's say if you want to start with $500 and then um, gusto nyo i-project yung income. So, let's say for a month, I can profit as high as $440. But remember, ito pong uh, computation na to is based on the statistics of this current master. So, pwede po siyang magbago. But somewhere along these lines pa rin siya. Okay. Hindi naman siguro ganun kalaki yung difference niya. So, you can see here, additional info, volatility, monthly profit. Ayan, you can see then in line kung ano yung nangyari sa performance niya. So, we can say ito, 74% nga siya currently. Pero bumaba siya as low as negative 50% dito. Last month, so ibig sabihin, monthly return percent, he was losing 45%, pero binawi niya ng 222% this November. And I can guarantee, based dito sa timeline, ha, I think, okay, so we can definitely see na a week before the election, 
ang pangit ng performance niya. And I think all, this applies to almost all the traders. Kasi a week talaga before the presidential election, nobody can read the charts. Halos lahat gulong-gulo na sa nangyayari. But after that effect, dun bumalik sa performance yung nitong account na to. So again, if you want to invest, easily click invest now and then you're good to go. Kung magkano na lang yung kailangan yung invest and then your allocation of your investment. So yes, you can choose more. Marami pa po tayong copy masters. Take your time para kayo nag-shopping. Think of copy trading platform as your catalog where you're basically choosing the best uh, basket to put your eggs in. Hmm? Correct ba yan? <laughs> but again, um, a lot of our investors, ang ginagawa rin nila, nag-choose sila ng multiple copy masters. So just in case one copy master doesn't work out, at least meron silang isa pang buffer. So gumagawa sila ng two copy investors and then two separate masters yon. So again, the idea of not investing all your eggs in one basket. So yeah, if you have any more questions, um, I think we can already start our Q&A session. All right. So thank you very much dun sa walkthrough na yun. I think uh, it's really important na meron tayong walkthrough kasi mas nakikita natin ano ba yung what can we expect when we sign up for an account and ano ba yung nakikita sa loob. And of course, yung pinakita ni Miss Nadine, it's just the uh, web platform, no? Kasi meron din kayong mobile app, no? Mga, mobile. Uh, yes. So, and of course, if you're going to use MT4, that's also another app. And uh, yun yung ano, yun yung um, maganda sabi nga ni Imran kanina with yung M trading, yung ibig sabihin ng M, it's uh, mobility. So mobility. especially, yeah, especially if you're someone who uh, frequently travels or nasa labas ka, you can check. Kasi what I always say, mabilis kasi ang forex trading, no? hindi yan katulad ng stock market trading dito sa Pilipinas na mag-open ka na account sa umaga. Pwede mo nang iwanan yon kasi ano yun, pabagal, check mo na lang sa hapon. Ang forex trading, mabilis kasi siya. So it's really important that you have a mobile uh, access dun sa positions mo para nam namumonitor mo siya. So, exactly, yun. exactly. Mm. And one reason so, kung bakit ganun ka-volatile po yung forex trading, as we all know, it's a global market. Eh. And sa PSE, syempre, it's very dependent on the economy of Philippines, sa mga companies here. But with forex, anything that Trump does, well, this applies before, no? Di ba nga, single tweet niya, nagugulo yung buong market. Whatever activity they do in Europe, na apekto sa yung market, and we know non-stop yon. Kaya if you're a forex trader, at first, medyo talagang totok na totok talaga sa market. And I think no, um, I think that compared to the global stock market, I think mas malaki ang forex market. Yes, um, oh, daily turnover so is uh, 5.3 trillion dollars as opposed to stock market yes. na 25 billion. So almost 100 plus yung um, laki niya compared to stock oh, market. Oh. Yeah, saka sometimes yeah. mas yun nga eh, since ang forex is mas uh, mas agile so kumbaga some minsan ano no, uh, wala pang news or hindi pa nangyayari pero nauna na yung direction ng forex. Mm. Correct. Kasi mabilis, mabilis yan talaga sa forex. Yes, sir. Basically, it's money. So the fact that you have money in your pocket right now, you don't know it, but you're already part of the forex industry. The fact that you bought breakfast, nagpagas ka, di ba na traffic ka kanina, sir, sa Makati? Yan, nagpapagalaw rin yan ng forex. May ripples na yan talaga. So that's why it's very, very volatile. Talagang yung mga malalaking swings, these are caused by the big figures lang sa forex, like the, the President of the United States, uh, Fed Chairman, um, ECB chair, pati siyempre yung chancellor sa Germany. So when these four people speaks or they do anything outside in the public, ayan, you don't look at the charts na, you look at the news kapag ganon. Um, and of and course, uh, mga ka-arkin natin, ayun ang opportunity yung sa ano, no? yung sa forex trading. So kung ayaw yung matulog, <laughs> kung ayaw yung matulog. <laughs> I have a friend na ano, actually may, kay, may kasama rin tayong ka-arkin na ano, into forex as well, pero she's a silent, ano, she's a silent partner. Nagpo-forex din siya. And ayun, pag mga alas 9, alas 8 ng gabi, uh, <laughs> doon naman sa isang market kasi nagbubukas na yung, ano, yung 
uh, ibang yung international markets naman. So, yun, minsan hindi na talaga natutulog. Si Jane, si, si Jane. Ah, si Jane. Hindi okay. natutulog yan. So, ayun. So, of course, there's money to be had, not just during the day in the stock market, pero kung medyo, ano ba, insomnia kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Or yeah. power sa ano, power to kina nila. Ako, yun yung yeah. ano ko nun eh, challenge ko nun eh. Paano ako magtitrade ng stock market kung uh, lagi akong tinitingnan nung boss ko kung anong ginagawa ako dun sa computer. Oh. Diba? So, uh, you can trade Forex kasi uh, it's available 24 hours, 5 days a week. For so, pag uwi mo sa bahay, doon ka na lang kesa manood ka ng K-drama, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> or, or kesa mag-scroll, scroll ka ng lasa. Uh, <laughs> ng mga online uh, shopping, mag-scroll, scroll ka dyan, mag-add to cart yes. ka. Eh. But, uh, <laughs> oh, I, would also like, yeah, I would also like to ask, kanina nga nabanggit ni Miss Nadina, uh, pag nagsalita yung US President, may yung mga chairman ng ano, merong galaw sa market. And, uh, ang maganda doon kasi these are important people so talagang merong volatility. Ang gusto ko sa Forex, hindi siya kayang i-control ng a certain group of people, mm-hmm. particularly mm-hmm. Uh, local stock market, di ba? Usong-uso yan sa mga Facebook groups ng mga stock, Philippine stock market, yung nanga-hype kasi kaya nilang pagalawin yung yes. price ng isang company as a group eh. So since ang Forex, it's a global market, and uh, hindi siya kayang i-corner ng a group of people kasi sa sobrang laki niya uh, hindi siya hindi ka pwedeng ma-hype ng isang mm-hmm. grupo na talagang nagte-take advantage na. so that's also one of the things that I like about the forex market correct correct Yon. sir very good point <laughs> so ayun papunta na natin yung mga questions ng ating mga viewers so uh, of course sa mga interested sa na i-check and i-try ang M trading you can go to our special link, yung bit.ly slash open a Forex account or you can scan our QR code. And uh, pag nag-open sila, automatic meron silang demo account. Tama, di ba? Yes, automatically they have a demo account, they have a live account. So, pwede na nilang paglaruan yan. Even Kano yung... kalaki yung demo account? It's 5,000. 5,000 US uh, virtual money. Virtual yeah. account. Yes. Sa mga right. ano, no, sa mga first time na papasok sa M trading to do forex, no, uh, try the virtual account mo na. Don't don't use your real money. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Uh-oh. Demo is there for a reason. <laughs> so, siguro uh-huh. let's start with our question. So, ito kanina napakita na to, but uh, siguro it it's uh, important to repeat it no ano daw yung mga sabi ni Paolo Fernandez Estrabo what are the deposit and withdrawal methods so yun yung tanungin natin ay yun muna yung sagutin natin Emma, can i share my screen para mapakita ko po sa kanila yung options yes, dito sa course. platform natin okay i'm just sharing yeah. my screen now so tanong kayo, niya, <laughs> uh, ang tanong niya is how to create an m trading account yun puntahan mo lang paolo yung ating uh, ating uh, link na yan, yung bit.ly slash open a forex account. Okay. okay. Alright. Can everyone mm. see my screen? So, we are yes. at the deposit page. So, meron po tayong Neteller and Skrill. Perfect Money is also here. Visa and MasterCard is here as well. But specifically for Filipino client, click po yung bank transfer. Ito po yung Dragon Pay na minamention kanina ni Imran. So, you can choose what account to fund. And then in PHP po dito, so magedit parang budgeted ka na. So let's say I want to invest fifty thousand pesos lang. You can see and dito na po siya in dollars. And yung rates po natin very competitive. It's close to market price na po siya, and no fees for deposit. So and you can also set yung bonus na gusto niyo mer receive. Okay, so we have twenty five to two hundred percent. Dito po yung TNC ng bonus. So you can just agree or download it and read it at, on your own volition. Accept and then deposit. So kapag kindik ko po to, ma redirect ako sa Dragon Pay page. And then I can choose sa mga so- sections kung ano yung gusto kong funding or uh, funding method. So if you have BDO, minsan may, BD, may BPI din po but sometimes they're offline. Usually, after banking hours, they go offline na po sila. <laughs> okay. It really depends. And other over-the-counters po dito. But let's go, let's say, for BDO. Click ko lang. Then I can already view the instructions online. So, ayan na po siya. 
So may expiration din po siya. If I generated my dragon pay or reference um, kanina, I can only use it until 7.56 p.m. If I failed to do the deposit within this time, um, hindi na po siya, magiging expired na po siya. So you have to generate it again. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ayun po. Yeah, I, I would like to share then no, na kaya minsan quote and quote offline yung mga banko kasi for example with BPI ang alam ko sa BPI uh, 9 p.m. na close yung forex department nila kaya mm. kasi basically you're uh, exchanging uh, currencies dito eh, di ba yung from your peso mm. account gagawing dollar and ang BDO I think 10 p.m. so 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. lang yung available yung currency exchange niya. So, after 10 p.m., mag -e error yung pag-fund mo uh, through Dragon Pay. I, that, yun yung ano ko, yun yung alam ko. And, uh, tama ba na when you are going to withdraw, it's also the same? Tama? Exactly same. Uh, money in, money out policy po tayo. So, if you deposit using Dragon Pay or through, yun nga po yung bank transfer, then you have to withdraw using bank transfer then. So, based on our um, experience and yung mga feedback po ng clients namin, first withdrawal usually takes one to three days. And mm. until now, yun pa rin naman po yung talaga sinasabi namin. But we do have some cases na minsan inaabot lang po ng two to three hours, four hours, mm. or within the day po yung withdrawal. So, medyo mabilis na po talaga siya. So ano no right. so, sa mga karki natin to manage siguro to manage your expectations lang please uh, bigyan niyo lang ng allowance na mga 1 to 2 days yung redemption so for example kailangan niyo ng pera okay eh wag kayong umasa na wag niyo awain sila miss natin at si Imra na wala pa yung pera ninyo sila din yung 2 to 3 hours lang of course <laughs> in scenario pero Pag ano, kumbaga magbigay din kayo ng allowance. Okay? So, hindi yung mga pang-emergency ninyo ay ilalagay nyo dito, ha? Dahil 2 to 3 days. Uh, at it's just to manage your expectations. Okay? Exactly. Tapos, yeah, yung bank din pala kasi nagbabatch processing din yan. So, yung mga payroll, Correct. yung mga handover niyan sa system, ganyan, nagbabatch processing yan. So, yeah, kaya nag-offline din yan usually ng mga 9 p.m. Kasi taga-BPA ako dati. Yeah. Yes, uh, usually rin pag nag-withdraw ka sa Dragon Pay, like in the morning, mm. um, mapaprocess naman lang within the day. Pero kunyari, yung withdrawal mo like beyond the banking hours, for sure, next day processing na talaga yan. Kaya doon uh, na po, uh, one to two to three days processing na talaga. Yes, may batch processing din po yan. Ayan. May tanong si, ano, si Jayla, mm -hmm. uh, ng 606, na, not Jaylo, but Jayla. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, magkakaroon ng regulator yung M-Trading sa WikiFX. Um, Ayan first ang tanong. Foremost po, um, we don't really tolerate like third-party review websites because um, usually nababayaran po talaga yan. No? So kanina nga po, nung binuakit ko kayo sa website, you can already see our safety and security regulations and license, which is uh, registered po kami under St. Vincent and Grenadines, and then we also have the Financial Commission. Kasi for this question, so like we've been asked for this like almost every day, five times a day pa. Um, pinaka punut dulo naman po talaga ng concern nila is what will happen if something happened to our account? And that mm. is of course, pinaka una yung kailangang alamin saan kayo mag file lang dispute and complaint. Kaya kanina dinerecho ko talaga sila lahat dun sa website. Mm -hmm. So very easy to file a complaint, very easy, makikita nyo dun yung resolution process. Kasi anyone that thinks that they've been you know, like, na isahan, um, gusto nila compensate, right? And that's the way to do it. Go directly mm -hmm. dun sa provider, check yung process nila, and then once you check the process, then kahit papano medyo panatag ka na <laughs> at the back of your mind. Because you, you, know, you already know what to do. Step one. Yeah, yeah. Saka ano, no, actually, bihira lang ako makarinig ng, you know, mga platform or any other service provider na inuuna, saan kayo pwede magreklamo? <laughs> <laughs> I, sir, yun yung pinag-usapan namin kanina ni M. Like, I think with the experience dito, um, humaharap uh, ako not just from M Trading, but also a Filipino and a trader. I, yeah. I'm a Filipino once and foremost. And uh, um, I've uh, had a lot of uh, business with other clients that in as well. They've still con um, conducting business with me because of this. Kasi very transparent ako sa kanila. Hmm. Which so, is good. Which yeah. is a good sign actually. Kasi marami dyang, you know, lalapit sa atin. Actually, nalapitan na rin ako ng mga ibang FX provider before na they're based in enterprise tapos nawala na rin, you know. Parang medyo highly suspect during that time. Pero, of course, 
may mga lalapit kayo sa atin na, oh, you can earn this much, etc., etc. Tapos biglang, you know, puro earnings lang, di ba? Puro positive. Pero it's a good sign din na, no, no, na, of course, when you talk to someone na uh, uh, also talks to you about the risk, kung sino nagre-regulate, and of course, kapag may reklamo, okay, hindi yung ipapatulfo, <laughs> hindi yung ipapatulfo <laughs> niyo na lang, di ba? Uh-huh. Which is a good sign na, you know, that the company, kasi maraming tatlo, oh, legit pa yan, legit pa yan. So, which is a good sign. No? At least, uh, you know that uh, they're not just in it for, you know, just for the money, di ba? Uh, to, to be, to yeah. be frank. Uh, and... Yeah. Sa Kumu, nga pala, kasi we're also live streaming on Kumu, uh, gusto ko lang mag-thank you kay Gigi at saka kay Dilag 2020 nagpadala ng virtual gift. And oh, mayroon wow. siyang tanong uh, related doon yeah. sa kanina. Meron po bang withdrawal fee? Kasi walang deposit fee ang MJD. Mm. Pero yung withdrawal fee, meron ba? Wala rin pong withdrawal fee. Usually conversion rate lang po talaga. Bank trans- pag-, pag bank transfer, no withdrawal fee. Yung net teller and scale, they have their own withdrawal fees na po. Si M-Trading hindi mm-hmm. nag-charge. It's the payment solutions that charges them. So, depende Lama. po talaga yung sa gagamitin nila. So, so far, kung nasa Pilipinas ka, ano yung pinakamagandang uh, gamitin na service to deposit and withdraw money? Yung bank Dragon transfer pay. Dragon Pay. Mm-mm. The best uh, talaga. Tra- may specific bank ba na uh, maganda yung conversion rate or pare-pareho lang yung conversion rate pag through Dragon Pay? Pare-pareho lang po yung conversion rate through Dragon Pay. Mm. So at least hindi nyo na kailangan magbago ng banks. So if you're using BDO, if you're using another bank, then nandun po sila sa list, then go for it. Pareho lang po yung ano, ah, yan, rate niya. Okay. So, yun yung best method if you're in the Philippines, mag uh, the Dragon Pay. Alright? So, merong oh. tanong dito. Sino nga ba yung... Jose B, 6.08 p.m. O, oh, tingnan na. Um, question po, realistic or average monthly earnings from Forex trading? Uh, siguro si Imran, <laughs> kung anong uh, binang account manager, ano uh, masasabi mo dito, Imran? Well, ako, based sa mga nakikita ko, the most realistic earnings na pwedeng ma you know consistently ay around consistent. 2 to 3% compounded per per month, per per month. month. okay mm-hmm. yun yung mga yun yung mga traders na sumusunod sa risk management nila no yung tipong years na years na sila sa sa market yung tipong hindi hindi nasusunog hindi malaki yung drawdown no yung slowly but steadily pero malaki yan, ha? yung 2 to 3% compounded monthly. Malaki yun. Napakalaki nun. So, if you're gonna aim for something, aim for 2 to 3% per month. Tama. Uh, I would also say na that's a good uh, estimate. Uh, kasi marami sa mga forex traders na nakita kong nasusunog yung account. These are very aggressive and uh, hindi nagmamoney management. no So, exactly. uh, very important Uh, tandaan nyo guys, pagdating sa forex trading, patagalan ang labanan dito, hindi yung pagalingan mag-trade. Ibig sabihin, expect nyo na sa sampung trade nyo, siguro... Pang commercial ah, tatagal ka ba? <laughs> so, yan, siguro sa, sa sampung yung trade, siguro anim dyan, talo kayo. Yung apat, yun yung panalo. But because you have a risk-reward ratio, strict ka sa sarili mo, tapos tama yung Uh, laki nung lots na na tinitake mo, then uh, you will be able to consistently uh, earn money and increase yung iyong capital sa forex trading. And sa so umpisa, okay lang talaga na maliit kasi hindi ka pa talaga sanay. But mm. yun nga, sabi ni Imran, it will slowly compound and di mo mamamalayan pwede ka na mag full-time forex trader kasi mm. pwede mo na kunin lahat doon ng uh, expenses mo. But yeah, realistically, 2 to 3% per month ang pwede mm. mong uh, ilaki ng capital mo dyan. Idagdag ko lang, no? Idagdag ko lang. Mm. Um, so, marami tayong mga interested pumasok sa forex training, uh, trading, rather. Mm. So, um, how how long should be the learning curve para ma-achieve yung 2 to 3% na yan? Yun ang first question ko. How long is the learning curve? And mm-hmm. how big must your risk tolerance be? So, mm-hmm. kung maa, sabi nga ni Sir Fitz, out of 10 trades, 6 doon will be losses. Uh, how how should I be open to that thought? Mm-hmm. Na okay. dapat I'm, I'm willing to take 6 losses in order mm-hmm. to uh, prosper 
dito sa pagiging forex trader? If you'll allow me to answer the question. So mm. first and foremost, yung learning curve, again, very showbiz to, no? pero talagang very dependent siya per individual. Kasi iba-iba yung background natin. Eh. Let's say si Sir uh, Renzi, he has an advantage kasi nagtrabaho na siya from a bank before. So, in a different perspective, alam niya na kung paano gumagalaw yung money, yung mga expectations and such. Ako, I was a communication graduate, so it took me a while. Diba? Kasi before I become, I really entered the market, nag-trade muna rin ako for how many months before I applied as an account manager before. So, for me, it took me almost three months. And noong time na yun, noong 2013, YouTube was not that predominant yet. Hindi pa ganun kadaling maghanap ng mga video tutorials. Everything was in books and in PDF. But right now, ha, kung gusto nyo pasukin ngayon yung Forex, honestly speaking, the world is your oyster. Napakarami pong sources ng education, YouTube, websites, even simply um, joining communities online or in social media. That actually helps. Ngayon, if you go follow up question siguro dun, no, Sir um, Marion. Pag sa learning curve, gano kabilis ako dapat mag-invest? Gano katagal ako dapat magdemo, gano kabilis ako dapat gumamit ng real money. Again, this depends on your personality. And magkano na ba yung nakaredy mong pera? <laughs> okay, why? Kasi other people, they're willing to um, learn now, pero alam nila mag invest pa sila. They already have a timeline na after six months pa talaga sila mag invest So make the most out of that six months. Meron naman na iba na gusto ko mag-aral ngayon, but I already have money sa akin. So, Ang normally kung um, ina-advise kapag ganyan, with that money, hard-earned money ba yan? Um, or is it really something extra to you? Kasi pag nasagot mo yun, dun mo malalaman yung risk tolerance mo. If this is a hard-earned money, then I guess take time. Take all the time you need. All the decisions that you need to make, think twice, think thrice, think four times before you invest. But if this is something extra, and this is something na alam mo na you're willing to lose for any bad decision that you're going to make, go for it already. Kasi in another spectrum, experience is the best teacher. Yung mga theories, education, yes, it's good that you're learning about it, but actually nothing beats experience. <laughs> Lalo na pag naka-negative $10 ka, nanginginig ka na sa upuan mo, umiikot ka na yan eh. <laughs> and that doesn't happen in demo. Pero kung, um, again, yeah, pero kung if $10 is... Uh, pocket share sa'yo, then it's nothing. Pwede ka pa, baka mag-open ka pa ng limang losing trades, di ba? Yung hmm. sa question, uh, uh, ano yung tolerance ko sa anim na trades na yun? So, so again, it depends on you. Saan ba nanggaling yung pera na i-invest mo? Is it pocket share or is it a hard-earned money? So, yun hmm. yung I, I love what you said. Uh, I love what you said, no? Kasi pag hard-earned money yun, kahit one loss lang, kakabakabag. <laughs> <laughs> If yeah. money you're willing to lose in order to learn how this works, then that's okay. Uh, Take up in the so tuition yeah. fee. Yeah, magkano yes, university yes. Uh, tuitions ngayon? Like minimum, how much? Thousands of dollars? And then it doesn't really guarantee that you'll get the best job in the world pag graduate ka, di ba? So mm. at least dito, once you, once you learn, di ba? If you lose, you learn. If you win, oh, may pera ka na kagad. <laughs> Saka ano, no, I was computing din yung 2 to 3% per month. So, given my calculator, that's around, ano, that's 26.8% a year. So, sa mga ka-arky natin, yung iba, pwedeng, eh, mas mataas yung makukuha ko dyan sa stock market, etc., etc. Remember, ang trading and building wealth is not just about malaki kinita mo, kasi pwedeng malaki kinita mo, pero chamba lang. Pwedeng malaki kinita mo Uh-oh. 1 out of 10 times, 1 out of 2 times, malaki kinita mo, one ha- pwede kang mag 40-50%. Pero if 1 or 2 times lang, again, tapos yung remaining 8 times mo, eh, dinudugo ka, hindi ka magaling. So again, it's all about ano, no? It's all about, sinabi nga ni Miss Nadine, ni, ni Ivan and Miss as well, it's all about your discipline and your risk management. Kumbaga, it would not cut it kung magaling ka na panakana ka, na spike-spike, hindi ka magaling. Ang tinitingnan talaga is the consistency. Of course, parang sa stock market din, okay, hindi ka magaling kung chumamba or naka-jackpot ka lang or nag-100% ka sa isang stock, pero kung trend ang stock mo ay eh, negative ka, hindi ka magaling. Okay, so dapat titingnan mo rin yung consistency Month in and month out. Kumbaga, kasi you're building wealth eh. Diba? You're building wealth. So, Tama. hindi lang ito po pwede na, uy, 
to ma'am or magaling ako dito one month tapos the rest of the year eh, inaalat ka na. Again, ang key po dito is yung risk management, yung consistency ng ating returns. Okay lang na sinabi nga ni Imran, no? okay lang nung slowly but surely at least makakarating ka doon. Yun. Kasi baka mamaya, nag plus 50-60% ka tapos only to lose it, mawawala din din it's for it's for nothing. Yun. Kaya I like yung merong ano din, no? may community din yung ano, may support mm-hmm. din. Yeah, oo. Yeah, and uh, congratulate natin si EJ ko no, sabi niya, active FX trader here. Di pa masyado profitable pero I'm seeing positive results. So, talagang ano lang no, you just have to be committed and persistent. And yes. it's an exciting journey, I would say. And hmm. uh, tama, iba-iba yung learning curve natin kasi mayroon na akong friend. Grabe, three months pa lang, ang galing-galing na. So, siguro wow. talagang oo, oh, ano siya, uh, piloto siya. So I guess magaling din talaga siya mag-anticipate being a pilot, alam mo 'yon. So <laughs> meron siyang ano siya, nasa utak niya na rin niya yung pagiging ano, uh, imagination niya no, na saan pupunta tong mga charts and all. And yeah, magaling tin- ako yung nagturo sa kanya. Tapos after mga six months kinamusta ko, pinakita niya sa akin yung account niya. Sabi ko, grabe, pwede ka na mag-resign. Sabi niya, wag daw <laughs> kasi ano naman, oh. yun daw yung ginagawa niya pag naghihintay siya sa airport. <laughs> Alam mo yun? Oh. Oh. Pass time. Oo, pass time. Kasi nasa tablet lang siya, tapos doon siya nag nag trade daw. Ano. Anyway, so yun, iba-iba yung ating mga learning curve and um, important is we just keep on uh, improving our skills. Right. Okay. Next, another interesting mm-hmm. question mm-hmm. or topic. Uh, copy trading. Uh, sa topic na copy trading, 6:11 p.m. Alfredo Palomata. So, ano pong good evening po recommended po ba ang copy trade at magkano ang possible capital? So, nabanggit na ito, no, $200 minimum, $500 ideal. Pero to answer the question, um Miss Nadine, uh, Sir Ingram, uh anong masasabi niyo sa copy trading? Recommended ba uh- siya? Actually, yes, definitely do sa mga nag-i-start pa lang. So while you are learning on the side, pwede ka na mag-start mag-copy. Kasi when you start copying trade, yung trade nila, pumapasok yung sa MT4 mo eh. So by observing those trades, kahit pa paano nagkaka-idea ka na paano yung mga strategy, when you see, oh, sell Euro USD, and then you can go directly to the chart, bakit siya nag-sell at this point? So may mga ganung questions niya. So even during copy trading, yung education mo, continuous na rin. And you're doing it for free. Pag nanalo pa siya, di ba, yung kinakopy mo, all you need to pay is the performance fee. Kapag natalo, then you need to like a look, bakit din ba natalo? So, magandang aspect yun ng copy trading. Na nakikita mo rin yung trade niya, very transparent. And somehow, pag nakikita mo, ano ba itong kinopyahan ko? Sobrang galing. Magdagdag pa nga ako. Di ba? May mga ganong aspect. Or, what's happening with this copy master? Um, hindi niya na-fulfill yung ideas ko, ideal uh, profit ko, then I can always unsubscribe then. So yes, highly recommended, especially for beginners. Even those with experience na hindi nila makuha yung flow ng trading. Kasi there are still people like that na they've been in this uh, trying to learn for six months, a year, pero hindi pa rin sila nagiging profitable. Maybe, you know, maybe try copy trading on the side and then um do demo on the side as well and daming pwedeng options na pwedeng gawin it's not a one track investment na napakaraming options and you can also play around with it but yes for copy trading highly recommended po talaga siya all right mm-hmm. so may at saka i like the, ano no i like din yung yun nga yung transparent kasi syempre mga arki makikita niyo sa facebook oh i made so much money da 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 di ba maraming mayabang diyan oh pag profitable trade maraming mayabang diyan pero of course kaya i i like this one din yung transparency kumbaga ang term namin sa investor is cherry picking eh mm-hmm. cherry picking yung kumbaga pinagmamayabang lang yung pinag <laughs> Yung, yung panalo. Oh, oh. Yung panalo, pinagmamayabang oh, oh. yung panalo. Tapos tinatago yung yung talong position. No? So, that's called cherry picking. So, again, sa mga ka-arkin natin, magandang feature to ng M-trading. Kasi makikita ninyo na yung tao, yung is kung ano yung sinasabi nila, is hindi lang yung panalo, is yung ano din, yung risk din with, with that person as well. So, kumbaga, hindi ka lang niyayabangan ng tao. It, they're not cherry picking. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, um, just, just in case pa sa copy trading, just because profitable yung copy master nyo this month doesn't mean na everyday profitable. Hindi po tayo Christmas everyday or magic na mm-hmm. o kailangan bukas positive yan. There, there's no such oh. thing as that. 
um, again, minsan, um, out of 10 trades, meron po talaga losing position. But the most important thing is yung monthly performance. Kasi yun naman yung tinitignan natin. There's always ups and downs along the way. So, so, makikita din nila yun, Miss Nadine, no? yung monthly performance. So, again, uh, at least makikita natin yung, ta- yung track record. So, again, walang cherry picking, walang pagmamayabang, okay, kung baga matche-check ninyo yung consistency. Again, what you want is, ano bang gusto natin? Ika-copy trade natin yung pag ganun-ganon ng position or yung stay, steady but surely steady lang tapos consistent yeah. nakakapagbigay ng return, di ba? So, depende na rin sa inyo yun, di ba? If you want a, a very hard attacking roller coaster. <laughs> yes. And also, pag halimbawa, kung meron tayong mga viewers na programmers, no? Pwede sila mag-setup ng kanilang bot, trading bot, as a copy master. So, mm. yun yung nakailangan pang manulisit sa mga kamag-anak, sa mga kaibigan. <laughs> so, just set up a copy master. And then, meron na rin mga investors na mag, mag-i-invest sa inyo. No? Kahit hindi kayo kilala. Basta makita lang yung performance ng bot ninyo. No? So, maraming ganun sa M trading. Yeah. Uh, personally, may kilala kami. Mm, may mga mm. kilala kami ganun. And normally, sila yung steady. No? Yung dahan-dahan. Kasi yung mga bot kasi very precise and wala silang emotion sa trades nila. Yes. Uh, 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 let me just share no, na pagdating talaga sa trading, the the ano, the more objective your strategy is yung walang emotion nga, walang ano, the better. And uh, I guess there are some people that are asking ano ba yung difference nila for example, of course, me- medyo aggressive din yung eToro in marketing. And I guess, ang sa akin na pinaka-biggest difference is yung access mo sa MT4. Kasi yung MT4, it's really the, for me, the most powerful trading platform, if, especially if you're uh, doing Forex trading. And yung pagsiset up nga ng bot, kasi dati tinry ko na rin yan, mag-set ng sarili kong bot and uh, para automatic trading mm-hmm. i think that's one of the inspirations of copy trading eh di ba kasi mm-hmm. there there were actually a lot of traders who are studying how to program a bot so that magiging automatic na na program na nila mm-hmm. yung sarili nilang trading strategy to a bot so they don't really have to watch the markets uh, mm-hmm. every time no and that is only possible sa mga platforms such as MT4 which M trading offers. So I guess talagang ano to, no? this is uh, really a wide uh, world of uh, for currency trading na pwede nilang i-explore especially kung tipong inaantok na kayo sa Philippine stock market. Ako kasi yun yung naging <laughs> yun talaga yung naging motivation ko kung bakit ako nag-forex, nag-trade ng forex eh. Kasi to be honest, not just the time constraint na kailangan office hours, but uh, inaantok hmm. talaga ako sa Philippine stock exchange. no? And siguro related dyan yung sinabi ni, uh, tinatanong ni John Joshua na is forex trading a lot similar like trading in the Philippine stock exchange? Hmm. And which has higher volatility, and what books or vlogs regarding Forex do you recommend? So, siguro I can answer na it's very similar yung technical analysis pagdating sa Philippine Stock Exchange. Mabagal lang talaga ang Philippine Stock Market. So, be ready na uh, to experience na times 10 ng speed ng price action pagdating sa Forex. Uh, of course, mas mataas ang volatility. You have to know yung economic calendar ng ng forex uh, kung, an, kung saan nagkakaroon ng mga announcement mga mga news kasi yan talaga yung magmo-move ng market na hindi mo malayan sunog na yung pera mo or nag time stand na yung account mo and um, pagdating sa books and vlogs i haven't really seen a filipino uh, book about forex trading but there are a lot of resources online. Mm-hmm. And of course, di ba, oh, yeah. merong mga education na pinoprovide ang M-Trading ng mga webinars yeah. and articles. Yes. No? yes, yes. Education tab. Just go to the website, education tab. A lot of reading um, articles for beginners, even sa mga advanced na meron po tayo doon. And watch out po sa mga upcoming webinars natin. Maybe si Sir Fitz and Sir Renzi or Sir Marian mag, ano, mag-show up din din sa mga webinars namin. Who knows, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And yeah. also, meron kaming uh, M Trading channel dito sa YouTube. So, pwede nyo i-check yon. Meron mga basic uh, meron mga basic tutorials dun. Meron din mga strategies na pwede nyo rin i-apply. All for free. Type in nyo lang M Trading. 
Yon, oh, syempre pag mga pinapalit free gusto niya. Ano nga ulit yung minimum deposit ninyo? Uh, if someone wants to have a real account uh-huh. already. Um actually recommended po namin is around 200 dollars. Um, mm, 200 lang. Yeah, 200. Min recommended po namin. But I guess si Sir Fitz iba yung recommended amount niya. Eh. <laughs> ako, uh, ako, $100,000 yan. <laughs> <laughs> ako usually I recommend mga mga $500 kasi mm-hmm. pag dito sa forex trading, you'll re- medyo makakapaka talaga sa umpisa kung it's your first time to trade forex. And um, what I always say is pag dito sa forex trading, patagalan yung labanan. So being able to have a large capital to uh, trade several uh, positions or to trade for the long term na tipong mga more than three months hindi pa rin ubos yung capital mo kahit na ang dami mong pagkakamali. So yun doon ka kasi matututo. Mm-hmm. So yung 200 dollars siguro mga one or two months uh, kung assuming na laging mali yung trade mo no. Siguro ubos yan in a month pero at least yung 500 dollars <laughs> aabot ka ng mga 2 to 3 months and of course, hindi ka naman forever na mali. Siguro, after a week of uh, mga wrong positions na tinik, there would be lessons there that would help you improve sa following week. And in fact, ako personally, meron akong personal rule. Kapag 3 days akong puro losses, uh, I take the rest of the week off. Sabi ko, next week na lang ulit, pahinga na lang. And it's also the same. Pag three consecutive days ako na kumita, as in yung really good trades, I tell myself na next week na lang ulit. Bakit? Kasi may tendency ako maging overconfident kasi tatlong araw, di ba? So, sabi, ang sinasabi ko sa sarili ko is... Bias. Yeah, oo. So, for for the rest of the week, I'll just rest and enjoy my profits. And uh, next week na lang ulit kung saan, alam mo yun, I am back to on the ground and... Uh, mas clear na ulit ako. Kasi yun nga, let's try to avoid yung too much emotions when trading. That's why I also tell people na pag magde-demo account ka, you use the demo account to learn about the platform and to have a basic strategy, which is usually around 2 to 3 months. After nun, mag-deposit ka na ng real account kasi mapapansin mo, Iba yung magiging decision making mo kapag real oh. account na yung gamit mo. Sa to. Oo, yun. Di ba? Oh, yeah. Correct. Mas takot ka eh. Mas takot ka pag oh. totoong pera na. Malakas ang loob mo pag demo account ang gamit mo eh. Mas takot siya ka mas praning pag may oh, negative na nakikita. <laughs> oh, tama. ano, regard, tanong din ni Calviano, no? ni Kaarki Calviano, 7.06pm. So, ang tanong ni, additional question niya is, 30% per month na profit. Realistic po ba? <laughs> what, are you, what are you smoking? <laughs> what are you smoking at 30% a month? Okay. Um, Im, you want to answer this? Yeah, uh, sure, sure. Uh, Imran, 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 you want to Merong, yeah. honestly, uh, based sa mga nakikita ko sa iba kong clients, ay merong nakakahit ng 30% per month. Pero hindi siya consistent. Like, mm-hmm. nagkakataon na yung market conditions ay favorable dun sa strategy nila. Which is why nakakapture nila yung ganong kalaking movement. Pero in a typical day, in a typical month, you know, everything considered equal. 2 to 3%, sometimes 4 or 5% yung performance nila. Pero yun nga, kung maganda yung strategy mo, just give it time and makukuha mo rin yung mga ganong movements. No? Okay, good. I think yung sa makukuha natin sa sinabi ni M, yes, it's possible to get this, pero one time lang siguro. Ang labanan dito is consistently getting that. So, medyo mahihirapan tayo. Again, especially for beginners. So, don't aspire muna na malaki. Try to aspire with a very um, small winnings. Kasi kapag ganun, mas objective ka, mas tama yung nagiging uh, decisions nyo when you open your trades. Kasi pag nagahabol kayo, chances are, sunog na yan before pa mga lahati yung buwan. Mm-hmm. At saka ano, no? Saka, yeah, ano, very, no? Mm, very important uh, din talaga yung managing one's emotion. Kasi having worked with a lot of fund managers na billion ang minamanage, talagang Systematic yan. Kumbaga, yung trade nakapasok na sa Excel tapos diretso sa Bloomberg Terminal with the mm. parameters. Hindi yan tipong, ay, feeling ko ganito. Ay, parang tingin ko, swerte. Walang, walang ganun. Very <laughs> rational. Sabi na lang natin, mga ka no? very cold-blooded. 
ayan, very rational. Walang emosyon talaga. Pag nakahit na yan ng ganitong percent, aalis na yan. Yung parang sinabi ni Fitz. So, it's all about ano din, no? managing your emotion as well. Saka, kapag di mo na manage yung emotion mo, yung sinasabi nila na, ano, na revenge trade. Ah, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> yung revenge trade. Yung Sakit ano, yun. no? Uh, yun, yung tipong, uh, ewan ko kasi si Jane, kaibigan natin, na uh, kaarigin na uh, natupuwari si Jane, yung tipong, ano, yung tipong negative ka, tapos, maski yung kahuli-huli ang pera mo, basta i-all in mo na, maski ano, na tipong babangon ako at dudrugin ka, yung tawag doon, revenge trading na ako, <laughs> mahirap yun, mahirap yun. So, manage your emotions. Ay, bali, mga ka-Arky, bali 727 na, uh, remind ko lang kayo, no, um, tra- Uh, open an account with M Trading. So at the uh, top of your screen, makikita niyo yung website. So go to the website or kapag may so, phone kayo, yeah, scan the QR code para maka-open kayo ng account sa M Trading. Hindi naman kailangan na may deposit kayo agad. Just mm-hmm. open an account, enter your um, name and mo- um, email and mobile number so that you can open an account and later on na yung uh, cap- minimum investment which is $200. Dollars. Ayan. All right. So since 728 nga no and uh na, medyo, na. Medyo, <laughs> oh, medyo lightning round na tayo sa mga questions. Oh, oh lightning uh, round. Uh, siguro ito uh, I missed this earlier. I don't know if you share this. So in what country yeah. are you registered? Saan ba country nagsimula ang M trading? Um initially um it started sa CIS in Russia. And then, yung pinaka-license po natin is in St. Vincent and Grenadines kasi they're the one that has it. And then again, financial commission na po tayo pumapasok in terms of safety and security ng accounts. All right. Tapos may tanong si Bernardino. Is there a community for M Trading clients? May Facebook group ba kayo or Facebook chat? <laughs> We do have a Facebook uh, page pero wala pa tayong community. So, may, mm-hmm. mostly nagpo-post lang kami doon ng mga events or minsan even yung mga daily outlooks and analysis nagpo-post din po kami doon. So, you can follow us at M Trading Philippines. Just search it on All Facebook. Right. Pero kailan kayo pumasok sa Pilipinas? Kailan nag, nag, nag-start uh, sa Philippines mag-market ng M Trading? Hmm, okay, so this is a roller coaster ride. They initially want to penetrate Philippine market back in 2015. Kasi mm-hmm. unfortunately, I think the the Philippines is not yet ready. <laughs> but, but they started uh, marketing again this year during the this pandemic and it happened because nag increase po yung registration natin from the Philippines itself. Mm-hmm. So nag take action yung management. It, during the pandemic A lot of people lost their jobs, but you know how resilient people are, diba? especially Filipinos. Nagulat kami, biglang almost double or triple yung number of registrations during pandemic. So that's when they decided, okay, we need a designated team to handle the Philippine market now. Yan po. Ah, all right. So oh, merong man. comment dito si your Clem. Ay, sorry. Uh, basahin ko na ito. Litong-lito ako, paano mag-execute ng buy and sell sa MT4 with regards to lot sizing and leverage uh, then dollars per pips. So, nakakalito talaga yan. I think, uh, do you provide yung mga basic uh, tutorials on how to use MT4? Mm-hmm. Yeah, meron po kami mga walkthrough na MT4s. We normally do that during webinars po. We have a schedule pero this will be on December. But Sir Fitz, um, if ever yung mga ka-arky natin, ma- nagkaroon sila ng request talaga na mag-conduct tayo ng webinar for specifically for MT4 walkthrough, then we can conduct this webinar as soon as you request it. Siguro by next week, kunyari more than 10 people are requesting for this, then we'll do a special webinar for them. Ah, yun naman pala eh. No? Uh, I understand, no? kasi medyo complicated, may, may learning curve ang MT4. Kasi napaka-powerful niya, kaya you can expect na ang daming kumukuti-kuti tap sa loob ng ng <laughs> platform dyan. No? And, uh, It's very intimidating talaga sa unang uh, bukas mo. Tal- talaga, ano, feeling mo Pasko din kasi usually red and green pa yung mga kulay niya. No? So, yung lot sizing and leverage that's also very important kasi sinabi ni Imran, di ba, 2 to 3 percent. Pero kasi pagdating sa forex trading, kailangan mo talaga ng consistent na strategy that will make you, help you make money kasi once you have that strategy, it's so easy to just adjust your lot size at saka yung leverage to earn more money, no? And uh, personally ako, I only try to earn 30 pips. So yung 30 mm-hmm. pips na yun, Ah, uh, yung sa karamihan ng mga friends ko, sabi na parang alita man 'yon. Pero depende 'yon kasi yung 30 pips pwede yang 0.1 cent per pip. So meaning mm-hmm. I I earn 3 dollars or pwede yang uh, 10 dollars per pip. So that's actually 
$300. So, depende mm. ngayon dun sa adjustment ko, dun sa, dun sa settings ko. But mm. at the end of the day, ang kikita sa akin is yung strategy ko. So, mm. yung how much money you earn sa Forex trading, it is also in your control and it is within your risk and money management skills na dapat pinag-aaralan nyo rin. So, hindi, din, hindi lang yung mga mga technical analysis and fundamental analysis ng pinag-aaralan nyo. So, dapat may money management din kayo na pinag-aaralan pagdating dito. Uh, singit ko lang itong ano, no? question 710 kay EJ Kun no? regarding sa mga commission. Uh, may commission fee po ba per trade or sa spreads lang po niyo kinukuha ang fee? So, two types of account. Yung M Premium, spreads lang po doon yung pinakakinukuha. And then, yung M Pro account po natin, ito na po yung uh, with commission. So, bakit may commission yung isa? Bakit yung isa spread lang? So, as we all know, yung M Premium, this is like your standard account. Okay, no commission. Spreads is on average. So, for Euro USD around 12 points or 1.2 pips po yung spread natin dyan. Okay? As for an M-Pro account, pag nag-Euro USD kayo, ang average spread natin is 0.2 pips na lang or 2 points. So, significantly lower. And then, yung commission po niya is $4 per round not lang. Which is what I keep on saying, very competitive. The most competitive right now in the market. Because on average, mm. around $7 per lot po yung commission or $10. But with M trading, it's only $4 per round lot na. Is there a difference ba when, when I want to enter into M Pro or M Premium? Uh, is it a different account or how, how does this go? Um, once you logged in po dun sa M Trading account nyo, you can actually create two types of, you can create a type of account. Pwede kang gumawa ng M Pro, pwede kang gumawa ng M Premium. Now, uh, I think the bigger question is, what's the most, uh, suggest, what's the suggested account type depende sa trader. Kung ikayo po ay scalpers, ibig sabihin yung gusto yung mabilisan lang to enter and exit the market, then I, I highly suggest mag M Pro kayo kasi sobrang liit lang ng spread. So with just a point two movement, profiting ka na kaagad. So Empro is the way to go. Pero kung kayo ay swing trader, so and somehow yung capital nyo is more on the conservative type, go for M Premium. So at least you have time para alam yun, you para ma capture yung spread. And then at the same time, pwede nyo daruin kasi yung lot sizing. So at least kahit pa paano, kahit 12 points yung spread, but dahil sa lot sizing, nagiging 12 cents lang yung spread natin. So All right. dun po yung laruan natin. Uh, may tanong si Engineer Trader. Uh, I don't know if you can answer this. Um, pwede daw ang algorithmic trading sa inyo? Mm. Yes, well, pwede. Yun yung sinasabi ko kanina, yung mga gustong mag-setup uh, ng mm. bot nila. So, bot is the algorithmic trading. Isa-setup nyo lang yung bot ninyo with MT4. So long as kaya yung i-code yung script niya. No? But the essence is there. So, pagka-setup nyo nun, pwedeng-pwede nyo na siyang patakbuhin. So, maraming gumagawa nun. And ginagawa nila yung copy master para mas marami pang funds ang matrade nung kanilang bot mm -hmm. or algorithm right. trading. Uh, just to give you merong... statistics, uh, sorry, just to give you statistics, uh, currently po, kalimitan po ng um, Filipino traders na, then I think we're hitting around 30 to 40 percent, kalimitan po, po sa kanila EA traders po talaga, or they're using mm -hmm. EA for their trade. So, it's definitely, yeah. definitely okay and supported. Alright. So, may tanong si your Clem, no? Uh, mandatory ba ang stop loss? Hindi siya mandatory but it is highly, highly, highly recommended. Huwag kang mag-trade na walang stop loss. Nako! Kung gusto mo masunog yung account mo kagad, sige, huwag kang maglagay. So, very important. It's part parang of ano yan, parang, parang tinanong mo na, okay, parang tinanong mo na, okay lang po ba mag-drive ng walang break? Oh, <laughs> parang ganun. Ay, ay, so may tala si Calviano. <laughs> meron po oh. bang IB program? Uh, yes, no, meron. So Calviano, you can just contact uh, either Imran or Miss Nadine mm -hmm. for it, no? And um, sige. And uh, sino pa ba yung mga question? Uh, may comment si may... Mechu Suki. Uh, share na lang natin. No? Sabi niya, medyo nalitaw siya. Mm. It's a really great traffic. Uh, masakit po talaga ang psychological pain sa consecutive losses sa trading. I guess this, is, this was a reaction kanina doon sa sinabi ko na pag tatlong araw na akong puro losses, nagpapahinga na ako. Next month, eh, next week na lang ulit ako magtitrade. And sabi yeah. niya, trading plan helps in objective decisions and trading. So we agree on this. No? Kailangan kayo, meron kayong trading plan. Yeah. 
Exactly. May question sa ano, may question din sa 6930 <laughs> Yung cost averaging, ito yung mag-iipon ka ng shares sa isang stock o sa isang mutual fund in the hope na 5, 10 years, 20 years from now, yung naipon mong shares of that stock, mabibenta mo at a higher price. Dito, Andres, eh, hindi ka bumibili ng peso or dollar na in the event na 20, 15 years from now, iaakyat yung peso or yung dollar. Walang ganun kasi super... Ganito na lang, before ang peso is 25, ano? U- US dollar to peso nagte-25, ngayon 50, di ba? Pero sa Forex, walang ganun. It's a trading hmm. position. Nabutan mo yung position. 20, 25. Kasi na, 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 ko 45 pesos na nun yung dollar eh. Uh, na, nakwento lang ng tito ko. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Diba? Right. So, um, ano pa yung mga question natin? Uh, I guess... Parang nasagot na rin natin lahat ng mga relevant na questions. So, yeah. Of course, kung yung mga nakamiss ng ating regular session na uh, we talk about investments, personal finance, uh, we'll have that session again next week. So I hope you can all join us for that regular session. But if you have mm-hmm. additional questions about Forex trading, siguro before we finally end, ihabol nyo na ngayon yung tanong ninyo so that uh, we can answer it before we say goodbye. Tapos, si Your Clem, sabi niya, gusto daw niya akong e-text or, or e-PM. <laughs> uh, pwede mong e-email ang Wealth Archie uh, account uh, since isa uh-huh. naman yan sa, ano, chinecheck ko din araw-araw. So you can email us at admin at wealtharchie.com and uh, of course, you can send a PM sa Facebook page natin, facebook.com slash wealth RK and uh, I will answer your concerns. Okay? Ah, may ito. Yung tanong ni Josephine Cobero from 6.19. That's 6.19 mm-hmm. p.m. How different po kayo sa Hot Forex and eToro? Yeah. Kanina nasabi ko na yung eToro but with Hot Forex, uh, I'm not familiar with them. I guess, I, I think um, she's pertaining to sa copy trading because these are also platforms that offer copy trading. Okay. So, again, the mm-hmm. um, difference is different from the people who handle tao. We're here. <laughs> okay. Because sometimes uh, a lot of traders or mga investors, um, isa din sa mga factor kasi yung customer support. Like, do I know the people I'm talking to dito sa company na to? Very important. So, I guess that's one of the advantage here sa M-Trading. We're very much exposed. We're very easy to reach out to. Second, in terms of products naman, we do have bonuses. And lastly, yung ECN account po naman is very, very competitive. It's only $4 per round lot commission. So kung kayo po ay scalper or an experienced trader, then I highly suggest check out yung ECN or MPRO account po naman. Yes. Yun. Para sa akin, malaking bagay na nandito si Miss Nadine tsaka si uh, Imran. Uh, mm-hmm. Kahit na at the end of the day, pare-pareho yung mga brokers sa yan. Ang tanong is, pag tumawag ka sa customer support, ay madali mo ba silang makakausap? So at least ito, di ba, Pinoy na yung kausap mo. Hindi mo kailangan man nosebid sa kaka-English kasi uh, I'm very sure yung hot forex ang makakausap mo dyan ay foreigner, di ba? So, di ba mausap, mausap ka pa ng English dyan? And of course, uh, pagdating sa... Forex trading talaga, uh, I would say if you're really serious about uh, Forex trading and making it uh, as a source of income of yours, then importante na maganda yung platform mo, such as yung MT4. Highly recommend yung MT4 platform, which is of course available with M-Trading. Yan, nandiyan talaga yung mga big time na mga Forex traders. No? So, mm-hmm. itry nyo na, pag-aralan nyo na kasi medyo may learning curve yan. So, mas maganda sa umpisa pa lang pinag aralan nyo na kung paano siya gamitin. And narinig nyo nga, no, kung familiar lang tayo sa copy trading na may kinokopy tayong tao, sa loob ng MT4, talagang pwede kang gumawa ng program na yun yung robot na mag uh, trade para sa iyo. No? So may, may algorithmic uh, program ka na doon. So ganun siya ka-high tech. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, 6.30. So anyway, uh, yung, meron pa ba tayong ano? 
Sir Fitz, dagdag ko lang, no? may tanong ng si Bernardino Banson kasi nabanggit mo yung MT4. Ano daw ang difference ng MT4 at uh, MT5? 6.30pm. Uh, okay, the difference uh, is basically number. yung pinakang <laughs> <number. laughs> no, and features, you know. Uh, um, honestly, right now, I still recommend MT4 in a way, especially sa mga beginners. Kalimitan kasi na makikita niyo mga tutorials is still, ang uh, ginagamit pa rin is MT4. Okay, and then mas kabisado pa rin, um, mas widely used pa rin yung mga indicators and such with MT4. There's nothing wrong with MT5, pero hindi kasi siya ganun ka-accessible. Not all brokers carry it, unlike MT4, na almost lahat yata. It's the standard already. So, yun yung masasabi ko main difference niya. Specs and features, but that's it. That's right. In terms of trading, uh, strategy mo pa rin naman na mananaig dyan at the end of the day. Mm, okay, oh, and uh, yung right, 734, so... yeah. Okay. Siguro ano last la, last one question or last two questions ano ba? <laughs> or okay na na tayo? May mga, ano pa? So far okay na yung mga questions uh, oh, okay. na gets na na hagip naman natin yung mga major and then the yung mga minor the major major and then the minor minor. <laughs> na hagip na naman natin. May right. nakita mo shout-out. Uh, so, Sina? Ayan, go, um, there's a shout-out from Indonesia. May mga, ano rin po kala. <laughs> you have viewers all around the globe po pala talaga. Ah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We have a lot of, ano, we have a lot of viewers from Europe to Middle East to, ano, to, may Latin America na ba tayo? <laughs> Wala pa. <laughs> Ayan, there you go. Ayan. So, I don't know kung nagiging choppy ako. Nagiging choppy ba ako? Mukhang may um, naglalaro ng mobile ako. legend sa bahay namin. <laughs> ako, okay ba ako? I think okay naman ang ano. Okay ba? <laughs> okay ba yung signal ko? Uh, all good, all good. Um, yeah. okay, okay naman, okay sige. naman. Sige, yung TV ang ano ko dito eh. <laughs> yung aking pang-test eh. Pag dire-direcho yung TV, ibig sabihin okay pa ako. <laughs> ah, good. Smart, smart, very smart, sir. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So, sa lahat sir, sorry. Mga... Yes. sorry to cut you off. There's one question na gusto ko sanang i-address. Ah, yes, There's... please, please, please. From please. DJ Kuhn, um, ini-screen niyo po ba yung mga copy masters and yung track record nila? So, um, if you want to become a copy master po sa M Trading, easily you can publish it. Hindi na po namin siya ini-screen in a way na yung pinaka-data po kasi ng trades nyo, maka-capture niya, and yun na po yung magpo-post as data. So, of course, kung hindi po kayo magaling mag-trade, pangit din po yung ma-post na data doon. So, any uh, investor in their right mind will not invest to someone na halos uh, ma- masimut na and masunog na po yung account. So, nandun po yung uh, transparency. And then, we're giving chances to others. Din. Malay mo, first two months ka lang malaki ang drawdown, but on your third and fourth month, biglang you're learning your lessons, nagiging uh, consistent trader ka na, then at least pwede ka pa rin mag-copy master. So, yeah, I guess that's All it. Right. So, yeah, yun, you. maraming salamat. Oo. Medyo nagiging choppy na yung, ano, no, yung stream. Siguro, nagkakaroon na lang problema ang <laughs> mga internet providers natin. But, of course, yeah. we would like to thank uh, Imran and Miss Nadine for thank you. raising our live stream. So, so siguro much, any uh, you, final message for our viewers, uh, Imran and Nadine? So guys, pag gusto nyo lang na ma-experience ang Forex market, sign up lang kayo using the <laughs> link above. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for Wealth Arki. Um, I think, uh, sir, more success to your channel, more success to your group. Napakaganda po ng program nyo, especially helping out a lot of Filipinos sa uh, financial literacy. Um, would be very happy to guest again with the show. Nakikita ko po how uh, much quality yung nagiging content natin when we're doing this live stream. Thank you, thank you so much for this opportunity. And thank you so much for the viewers as well for that um, top-notch um, participation from them. All right. So, maraming maraming salamat sa atin. Uh, Marion, any final message before we close? 
Maraming salamat mga ka-Arky sa panonood ngayon at maraming salamat Miss Nadine and uh, Mr. Imran sa pagiging guest namin ngayon and sharing what you know about M trading. Sana marami tayong naengganyo no to try out what is M trading. Sa mga ka-Arky natin na may tanong na hindi tungkol sa forex trading ngayong gabi, sasagutin naman natin 'yan <laughs> next week. And so maraming salamat mga ka-Arky. This is Marian Paul and remember financial literacy is the great equalizer. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, Renzi? Yeah, so maraming salamat again mga ka-Arky natin for being with us for the past uh, one and a half to one hour 45. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure maraming nasagot uh, sa ating mga questions about Forex, about trading, and of course, about M-trading as well. So yeah, um, it's a good platform. So bihira lang talaga tayo makita ng platform that has, is as transparent, no? As transparent and as hand-holding sa mga client and as force as dedicated in educating the public about the things of forex trading. So again, if you want to sign up for a free demo account, yan sa baba, may gumagalaw, kopyahin nyo lang. And then, kapag ka tinatamad kayo sa upper right portion, andyan ang ating QR code for your Open a Forex account. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so maraming maraming salamat mga ka-Arky sa panonood na naman dito sa ating uh, live stream and uh, thank you very much kay Miss Nadine at kay Imran for uh, guesting dito sa ating live stream. So I hope may natutunan kayo na bago today. And of course, uh, please remember uh, you can sign up for free, walang bayad mag, mag gumawa ng account sa M Trading para ma-experience you din kung paano ba tong forex trading and Uh, si ma- malay nyo, meron pala kayong uh, hidden skill or hidden talent pagdating mm. sa forex trading kasi a lot of uh, successful traders that I've met, hindi nila inexpect na meron pala silang uh, aptitude pagdating sa forex trading. So, uh, might as well try. Wala namang mawawala. Libre naman gumawa ng account. So, again, just go to bit.ly slash open a forex account or scan the QR code to create your free demo account with uh, M Trading. So with that, uh, in behalf of all my uh, colleagues here, uh, nagpapasalamat kami sa panunood and see you again next week. So good evening and goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.